really badly. Now, let's talk about some more interesting shit. Let's talk about the Crystalia thing. Yeah, man, our boy. It's funny because we had Lenochi on, and now Crystalia has been basically torn apart by stories of him fucking 18-year-olds. Crystal, or Lenochi was Crystalia's yeah. opener. Yeah, and he would go for girls that were young enough to where he'd have to ask sometimes if they were young enough. Oh, come on, we've all been guilty of, of DMing a girl by accident that's not of age. Would you agree with that? Yeah. And Austin, I want you to pull up the article on what's going on. Just type in Crystalia and it should come up. It's, it's the one, I think it's the LA Times, wasn't it? It is the LA Times one, yeah, exactly. It's the LA Times one. And uh, they're calling him a pedophile online, which I think is a little unfair. It's or very unfair. Not a, It's completely un- it's bullshit. I looked up pedophile just before we got on this podcast. A pedophile is somebody who's attracted to prepubescent children. Right. That's the definition of the word. 13 is the cutoff. Yeah. Like before breasts have been even remotely, the, before they're an idea, you know, when they, they look like little children, that's what a pedophile's into. A guy that's attracted to 18-year-olds, I mean, look, basically, this is how I feel about it. If he fucked a bunch of 18-year-olds and now they're pissed because he treated them kind of like shit, that's on them. He's a comedian that should be separate from that. If they, I don't, I don't know, if he didn't do anything illegal, what's the problem? Why? There's never been a sexual assault allegation against him. To end his career and his life... Because he fucked a bunch of 18-year-olds and maybe he wasn't completely honest with his fiance is not fair. Are you talking about yourself or Delira? Well, yeah, who knows? This is my thing on the situation. Who knows? Uh, yeah. Morally, I totally agree that banging anything under 18 is wrong. Yes. Like, no. those girls are not smart enough or, right. or world-weary enough to defend themselves from the advances of of an older manipulative man right. and it might fuck up their life if he starts pulling some shit or fucks them and dumps them yeah totally morally wrong yeah but for him to be attracted to girls on instagram who were between 16 and 18 the worst accusations i saw were that he messaged, messaged. unknowingly unknowingly 16 right. and 17 years old right. unknowingly meaning it didn't say in their bio 16 years old River Falls High right. School, right. class of 2000, fucking whatever. And they didn't say in any of the text message exchanges or the messages on social media, how old are you? Uh, I'm 16. And there was no Dalia going back, oh, great, send nudes. The one time I saw a girl on what was leaked, and what's been leaked is, I'm going to assume right now, the worst of it. It's got to be. I mean, and if anybody comes out now, it's 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 a, it's a, you missed the, the the boat a little bit. But yeah, keep coming. I mean, whatever. It, people have been saying the same thing over and over again, and it's that they that he hit he DM'd them when they were young, night like as as far as eighteen to twenty one. Most of these, a lot of these girls have slept with them, blew them, whatever the case. He might have been with his fiance because it happened. As, I think the earliest one is two years ago. Maybe he stopped two years ago. But a lot of these things are from like ten years ago when he was like an up-and-coming pretty big comedian, and he had never had much success until like, then he kind of blew up in the last, like, 10 years, of which, and he was, you know, he's 40, so he, he basically got to 30 and then started kind of blowing up, got a lot of attention from young girls because his comedy was kind of like, you know, it was, it was funny to college kind of atmospheres, and and then all of a sudden he started, you know, having fun with 18-year-olds, and I don't think he's the only guy doing that. The one message I saw where a girl explicitly sent her age to him, she said she mm. was 17, and he said, too young, frowny face, mm. and then stopped messaging her. Right. That was the one time that an age was given that was under 18, and right. we saw a reaction to it. Mm. All the other cases where he's flirting, mind you, he has not had sex with any of these girls. He didn't right. do anything illegal, and the girls were allegedly under six, under 18. Yeah. The, the How they're calling him out as being a creep, the, their strongest evidence that he knew they were underage was she had pictures of her from her junior prom. Mm -hmm. There was a picture on her Instagram of her sweet 16. Mm -hmm. That's one of the arguments they make is that he's a sick fuck because he didn't scroll down and find that six picture. months lower yeah. and find her sweet 16 picture. Right. It's unfair and it's, it, it sucks. And in what? So now why is it OK if you want to talk shit about his uh, Dalia? Dating a young girl. Why aren't we attacking DiCaprio for dating a 20-year-old right now? He's 42. He's dating a 20-year-old. It's all... I've heard many stories of DiCaprio fucking a bunch of 18-year-olds. Maybe he... What is it? Because he has a better system. He gets them to pay... To, to fucking sign NDAs. Like, 
there's nothing wrong with being attracted to an 18 year old when you're an older gentleman and wanting to have sex with one of them. Why? That's not being. That's not a pet. Pedof- that's not pedophilia. That is not the definition of the word. He didn't do anything illegal. If he fucked girls that were of age, if he didn't fuck a girl that was underage knowingly, then why are we ruining his life? That's all I'm saying. What do you think? Uh, I'm just going to say that I don't see the correct way to deal with a situation like this. If you walk up to a girl in the produce section and you think she's attractive Mm -hmm. and you start talking to her and flirting with her, eventually you ask how old she is. And she says, oh, I'm 17. You say, oh, I'm sorry. I didn't know. And you right. walk away. And you walk away. How is this any different than what he did? Yeah. And if this is criminal activity or cancel worthy activity, mm. at what point is it just going to be illegal for men to talk to women in the streets unless they're in a bar and they've been carded by a doorman? There it is, dude. Yeah. You just can't talk to women unless they have uh, unless they're strippers and you know they're 18 exactly. or unless they're in an alcohol serving establishment exactly. or on a riverboat where there's gambling. It's just, you see, you, I, I, there's like these fucking feminist bloggers are attacking him yeah. for not pulling out a magnifying glass and looking for all these little context cues about age. Right. Right. Look, it's the world we live in, man. I don't know why he's the one that was chosen to for this to happen, but I mean, there's a lot of other targets there's people that are, you know, there's there's definitely bigger issues going on in the world than Chris D'Elia. I think this is what, it's it's all about the clicks once again. And they knew that he got big enough where, oh my God, he fucked an 18-year-old and he DM'd a 17-year-old is fucking national news. So they go, that's it. Let's fucking take this and run with it. It just, it was his time. It was his time to experience this. And it's going to be interesting to see how he comes back from all of this. You know, we'll see, I guess. Austin, do you have that picture pulled up or do you have the article pulled up? There's a chick, though, that I want to show. It's the one girl they've shown clearly in a bunch of the articles. Mm. She looks like she could be a cocktail server at Omni and Nightclub in Vegas right now. And she's allegedly underage at the time. She probably, I mean, she's not allegedly. She probably was. I'm sure they grabbed a high school picture. And knowingly, and and we're not saying that knowingly fucking like an underage girl is by any means excusable. It's not. And like Danny said earlier, as an older man, you could definitely ruin somebody's life by doing that. But why is he being, why is his life done and is probably his mar- well marriage. I don't know if he's married to her or not, but his relationship. He just had a child. This this all is now probably destroyed because he DM'd eighteen year olds, you know, ten years ago or up to even you know a couple of years ago. But he DM'd under eighteen year olds under, too. Under, the point I'm trying 18, to make 18, is yeah. you look at this girl who the LA Times posted is like, oh here's the underage girly message. She looks like she's 25 and making six figures a year slinging vodka bottles. Yes. Any thinking man would look at her and not know immediately that she was not of age of consent. Absolutely. And if we told you that that girl was of age right. and asked you if you'd be interested in going on a date with her, any thinking man or any feeling man would say yes. Yeah. So there it is, man. And now, I don't know, when this this cancel culture bullshit. Um, I oh, thought this I, is going to get deep here. Leo, what? lay it on him. Well, no, I'm just saying, like, I I thought it was kind of over. I thought it was kind of going away. It doesn't seem like it is. It seems like if enough people on Twitter... Let's come back with a vengeance. Like, yeah, cancel that bitch at the fucking carousel. Yeah, dude. No, you did cancel it. Don't say our word in front if of me. You, if you get enough people, if you get enough of a mob, that mob mentality bullshit, like, if you get enough people on Twitter to attack, you can do anything you want, almost. There was a there's a movement on Twitter like the past like two days and a whole, it, it, it's a list of like 25 to like 30 YouTubers where all these girls like simultaneously gave their story of being like manipulated by YouTubers who wow. use their following to fuck them underage and oh, shit. Re- Is under- Danny Mullen on that list? Underage? This one guy named Syndicate who's like a really big YouTuber. He's mm-hmm. like probably one of the biggest ones. But, uh, Can you pull up that list? Yeah. I, mean, if, I don't recognize who the fuck Syndicate is. I don't. I don't know if the list is 100 percent because it was just some. They, SJW they were fucking list under, on, underage girls. They were fucking. No, it's all kinds of accusations. It was just okay. like share your story. If someone that's a YouTuber or relevant on the internet 
has ever done anything wrong to you. I mean, some of them were major, some of them were really minor, but it was just like this wave of the past like two days. Like, when did this happen? The past two days. Oh, it just, just happened. Like I was looking at some of it. Keemstar posted a video. He was like four YouTubers accused of rape. And then he tweeted like later, oh, I just got like 12 more. So I don't know. Keemstar's been talking about it. Yeah, I, I got to make the top 12. If it wasn't one of those first four, I'm in that That's top bullshit. I didn't see your name on the list. When no, it's actually I, bullshit. I've been raping a couple people. Okay. Here's I broke it down Man. like this when we were in Virginia. This is how I see all this. Adam Carolla used to always say that in the good old days when a father and son were standing on the side of the road and a guy drove by in a Ferrari or a Porsche, the man would point out and say, look at son, if you work really hard, someday you can own that Ferrari or Porsche. But nowadays, with the Bernie Sanders, with the fucking whoever the fuck else socialist, it's, son, that guy right there with the Ferrari is a capitalist pig and you should throw a brick through his windshield. Mm -hmm. That's the shift in mindset now. And I think that trickles down to all aspects of society. What good is coming from calling out Dalia for messaging a girl, figuring out she was 17 and then saying, oh, you're too young, sorry. What? That's not a crime. That's not even socially unacceptable. It's just people who work in an office, who hate their lives, yep. or jealous of people who have any kind of success or any kind of profile, and they're trying to tear them down. That's what's going... Like, what, what, what is being helped by making a fucking Reddit thread about breaking down YouTubers' careers? Yeah. Like, what did Shadow Facts do, the top YouTuber who got accused? Um, <laughs> what's his name? I don't oh, know. Was it a he, syndicate? Was it a syndicate? It's Shadow Facts. Shadow. He's named what's up with Shadow Facts, dude? <laughs> well, Syndicate is like, I think he used to do Minecraft videos, and mm. a lot of these people are like fucking creepy Minecraft people. It's always the Minecraft people that diddle kids so he was diddling young young girls i don't remember his exact thing i think under, that like he, under he, he like held under, a girl under down five. and raped her he, all right he held a girl down and raped her so that's, <laughs> fuck that's, that guy that's what he's we're said. not okay I mean, with rape on the danny mullen channel half the couch isn't <laughs> oh there it is the girl said that she was like crawling away screaming no and that he like raped her and took her virginity austin and i'm her virginity bad. okay yeah. so that, sound, that sounds pretty bad <laughs> It is pretty bad, bro. That sounds like a horror movie. Is that right. true? He Dude, she that. was like crying. Like, wait, it was wait, wait. Really it, bad. She, th that's, this has just been reported as a post. Well, this is her video of her like crying, oh. saying what happened to her. So yeah. Right. Her so crying. that's the, okay. This is what, uh, uh, making this brouhaha of a guy like Dalia, where he's never raped anyone. No one has said that he has raped anyone. Yeah. This is not good for girls that yeah. have actually been, been raped by some scum scum of the earth pieces of shit Th bringing attention to somebody like Dalia and making it a big fucking deal when he hasn't done anything illegal except uh, whatever he hasn't done anything illegal that's the truth is taking away from the actual problem which is girls that are actually getting raped there's girls that are actually getting assaulted and that's what we should be focusing on sharing their stories that the, the girls that have been raped by fucking I don't parents or not celebrities, just fucking people that they knew, a fucking cousin, whatever the case may be. Those are the ones that need a voice, not fucking some girl who's like saying like, yeah, yeah, Dalia tried to fuck me when I was 20. I did. I sucked his dick. I don't tell. But he manipulated me because he was famous. Like, what the fuck? When, that was like 90% of the ones I was reading. When, when Leo, wears, of when Leo wears his tortoiseshell glasses and his hair like that and he starts talking about sharing women's stories, I feel like I'm at the vagina monologue. Dude, do you not like my new glasses? I just <laughs> got like these a, bad boys. Thank you, thank you. You make a good point, though, because I want to apologize for laughing at that girl crawling away and getting raped. It sounded but, like it was the, made up. Yeah. The reason why I'm doing that is I'm so used to reading shit about Crystalia liking a tweet of an underage girl right. this weekend right. that shit like that just seems like it's feminist fan fiction. Right. It, it sounds like that to me after all this stuff I've been seeing in my feed. And the truth is that should be national news when it's on Keemster and fucking some reddit forum cancel that shadow be, facts yeah cancel shadow facts syndicate whatever the fuck that guy's name is <laughs> don't cancel a comedian who wanted to fuck some 18 year olds when he was 40 well not even apparently when he was 33 or 35 they just the fuck the cases they move the definition of sexual assault further and further to where it basically 
Like a girl could be like punched in the face and like yeah. eaten out or something against yeah. her will, and then that's put in the same category as this guy touched my butt one time. It's not I'm even, right. but now it's not even touched the butt. Now it's messaged me on, on Instagram. Instagram. Yeah, yeah. It liked my Instagram. Ro- uh, some uh, Rogan. I don't like bringing up Rogan. Uh, like you know, I don't. I'm not one of those guys that watches Rogan all the time. But Rogan did bring up an example of a guy that was married to a woman, and the woman was just claiming that her husband had raped her throughout their entire marriage, and. And the guy was like having trouble defending himself in court. Like, how is he proving that it wasn't rape the yeah. entire time they were married? Yeah. yeah. So it's like, it's tough. It's a tough fucking world that we live in right now with all the shit. But the, but we need to bring attention to the real fucking predators out there. Not a guy that's fucking just a little bit of a of a ladies man. As well, Brian Callen called him a ladies man, but that's what he was. That's what he always seemed to be. I mean, yeah. I don't. It's. It's actually making me feel good, this Dalia thing, because I'm starting to realize there's no point in stressing. I know a lot of guys who are really stressed about their past relationships with women, not because they were bad people or fucking rapists or anything. They're just afraid that a drunk text might get out. All right. They're afraid the, that... The case is, it's, it, they probably will one day if you get big enough. They're Only af- if you get big enough. They're afraid that a, a bad date or something is going to end up in the cold fucking light of a blog post on the Huffington Post. But what this Dalia thing is starting to show me is that it doesn't matter what you did. It's getting to the point now where if you're unpopular with the feminist college graduate crowd in Silicon Valley and they don't like you, they'll find a way to try to go after you. They will find a way. And the best way to repel that is to pull a Joey Diaz. This is the guy handling it right now. You lean into it. They don't like one video where you're talking about getting your cock sucked at the comedy store. Talk about fucking a one-legged girl and send them the link to that video. Yeah, I love what Joey Diaz is doing. That's absolutely hilarious. And I love that Rogan's retweeting all of them. And Danny and Mullen is too, and more Danny importantly. Danny Mullen is retweeting all of them. Yeah, it's it's. I guess you do lean into it because hiding isn't helping Dalia. I when it when this shit kind of went down for me, I thought that maybe just staying silent, never apologizing, and just let it all fucking go would have been the right call. I try to fight back slightly, and it didn't go too well. Then they were like, then there were like articles about like my me being violent. What do you got me like, too? Yeah. So yeah, for fucking uh, alleged dick pics. Anyway, I don't know. They were real dick pics. Well, they it's were. Not even they were a probably. Me too, though. That's like the that's not even a me too, dude. It's like, <laughs> look, they were real, but it was you know the girl said that I sent them to her friend unsolicited. We don't know. It was probably solicited. I was in college. I fucking I probably hooked up with that girl that I sent a dick pic to. Austin, very likely. Very likely. 